Alright, so we're going to go over a kind of a new video today. Um, I haven't done one of these kind of videos in a while, actually. They, um, we are going over the Cryosethia, Cryosethia, actually, uh, 77K is the uh, exotic exotic stasis sidearm that has been released in the new newest season of all, season of the splicer. So... I'm going to be going over this weapon, and I'm going to be telling you all about it, and about its perks, of course, and about how how it is in PvE and PvP. So, yeah, I mean, this weapon, I've been using it quite a lot. It's actually a really fun weapon to use, and you guys may be thinking, this is, like, probably one of the, like, worst, gun, worst guns they have ever made in Destiny 2, and... Um, I do respect your opinion, I really do, but this weapon is just enjoyable. Like, I'm really enjoying it a lot. So, anyways, how's it going, YouTube? My name is Javit, and welcome back to another video inside of Destiny 2. And it's been a while since I have done a video. I have been incredibly busy with school, a lot of uh, graduation going on, and just pretty much that's it dude it's honestly pretty much it but yeah we're doing a weapon review on the cryosethia cryosethia sorry it's really hard to say sometimes because i always thought it's the other way around but yeah we're gonna go over this sidearm and yeah like i said it's actually i really enjoy this weapon like i'm not too big of a sidearm fan kind of, fan kind of guy but um i don't know i got a lot of i got a lot of uh comments about how bad this gun is in my servers and i mean yeah like i said i respect your opinion but this weapon is actually really good in my opinion you guys think i'm crazy i don't care that's fine but yes let's go over this weapon and first if you guys are new to the channel why not stick around and hit that amazing subscribe button we're trying to hit over 1k by the end of this year and if we can do it by the end of this year, if we can bypass that goal and get over 1k, that will be a greatly appreciated. And also, why don't you guys stick around and join our community Discord? We are we are eight members away from reaching 150. So if you guys could join, hit hit a, hit that Discord up, then that would be awesome as well. Anyways, let's get right into this sidearm review. Move on to its perks. So the Cryothesia 77K has it's a special feature is LN2 Burst, which makes it so when you shoot an enemy and you press and release the LN2 Burst perk, it will shoot a stasis bullet out, causing the enemy to come frozen. This can work on any target. Um, it's got 260 rounds per minute. The charge time is 670. The magazine size is 13 for a sidearm. So we got polygon rifling stability. Um... Yeah, uh, we got polygonal rifling. We got the special perk where, actually, yeah, polygonal rifling is the where it increases its stability. We got particle repeater increases stability as well. Liquid cooling final blows with this weapon enables a charged shot for a short duration. Targets by a hit and instantly frozen at the cost of the weapon's entire magazine and polymer grip, which makes it has a lighter material and increases its handling speed. And you got the catalyst, which I will do a video on in another next time. So yes, like I said, rounds per minute is uh, 260 and 670 charge time with a 13 magazine size. The impact and the range stability and all the other rest. So the range has the most out of all of them. The range, this is a good, this is a pretty good weapon. I can see the range part. So yeah, let's go more into detail. So yeah, this weapon, like I said, is pretty good in my opinion. Um... So, yeah, this is not an my opinion video. This is just the weapon review. But, um, yeah, it shoots like a regular sidearm, except it's stasis. So, but the only thing that makes it stasis is when you get the final perk activated. So, once you get the LN22 burst uh, perk activated, it will activate the stasis bullet. So, yeah, that's not yeah too much to say. What about PvP? Well, it's actually a lot harder to use in PvP, but it's fun. It's really fun. So, yeah, I've been getting a few kills um, after a little while. So, 
And the more I kept using it, the more kills I gotten. So, yeah, stay tuned for a catalyst guide video, guys. I will be doing a video on that soon. So, yeah, that's all I wanted to talk about, really. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Um, I will carry on the gameplay. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, why don't you go down like and hit that like button on this video. If you guys enjoyed it, if this helped you at all on how like on this weapon review on what I think of this weapon, then feel free to subscribe as well and join our Discord. Also, I will actually be having a uh, schedule for my videos, so it's actually gonna be harder. So I'm probably gonna most likely upload three, two to three videos a week, maybe even four if I'm if I'm lucky. But yeah, that pretty much brings it end to this video. So, yep. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, my name is Javen, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys, with the PvP gameplay. I'll see you later. The enemies almost won. You have zone advantage. Zone C lost. You captured Zone A. You have zone advantage. Your enemy has defeated you. Zones are your life.